Welcome my dear friends. In this video we'll show you how to convert MBR disk to GPT without losing data. We're going to look at two methods. If you want to convert disk that has Windows operating system, please use first method. Second method works well for the data disks that doesn't have operating system. Without further ado, let's get started. Method 1. Microsoft's MBR to GPT Utility Before we start, let's first double-check the current partition style. Please right-click on Start. Choose Disk Management. Locate the disk that you want to convert. Right-click within this area. And select Properties. Please choose Volume. Over here, you can confirm your current partition style. Also I have my photos and files at desktop, we shall check the availability of the same post conversion. Search and open advanced startup options. If search does not work, please right click on start. Select settings. Please choose Update and Security. Select Recovery. Under Advanced Startup, please select Restart. Go to Troubleshoot. Advanced Options. Command Prompt. Choose your user account and enter password. Once you see command prompt, please execute these commands one after another. First command basically checks if the system and disk meets the prerequisites for this utility. Your system and the disk that you plan to convert should meet all these prerequisites, otherwise the validation will fail. If that happens, please restart the PC normally and work on meeting these prerequisites. As you can see, my validation has completed successfully, so let me proceed with the second command. This command does the actual conversion. You can ignore this reagent.xml error. The next line is very important, we should get into boot setup and switch the firmware mode to UEFI. Please go ahead and exit command prompt. Select turn off your PC. Once PC is completely off, turn it on back, and be ready to press the BIOS key. BIOS key may be different for each PC. Here are some of the common keys. It is generally displayed at the start of the boot process. Please go ahead and tap on BIOS key couple of times. Once you are in BIOS, please look for boot mode or something similar. And set it to UEFI. Please save and exit. Your system should start normally. I got all my files and photos. Let's verify partition style. As you can see, it has been converted to GPT. What we just completed is the recommended approach and it's generally called offline mode. But if you have some trouble getting into advanced startup or faced any other problems, you can perform online conversion. To do the same, please log into Windows as you normally do. Search command prompt. Run as administrator. We should use the same commands, but with forward slash allow full OS option.
As said already, please do not forget to switch the boot mode to UEFI in firmware or BIOS setup. Method 2. Third-party free utility. It's generally not advisable to use third-party utility for operating system disks. So please use this method for converting your data disks that does not contain any OS. Disk Genius is a free and professional software that helps on many disk management tasks. I have provided download link in the description. Please download and install the same. Once installed, go ahead and open it. Locate the disk that you want to convert. Please right click and choose Convert to GUID Partition Table. Tap on Save All to apply the changes. You can now close the app. Restart the PC. Post restart, please double check the data availability as well as the disk partition style. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.